Hello. This is Identity Releasing Sun. Today, I am ranking the cop traffic portion of this 105 vehicles ranking list. And this ranking list is going to have 16. The 16 viewed in this video are typically offensive, not defensive, and typically used by armed forces or perceived to be used by armed forces. If there is a vehicle that you expect it to be in this video, and it's not here, it's going to be in a later vehicle video, simply because this video is all about offensive, not defensive. So these are typically manned by people that run firearms or are actually law enforcement of some sort. So if you're expecting the firefighter, ambulance, etc., it's not going to be in this video. Anyways, let's begin. Number one. The barracks. Oh, boy. Uh, what's to say about this thing? This thing is a hunk of shit. It's huge, it's a big target, it has no armor, it has an exposed gas tank. It's fun in GTA Online, because it can hold like 16 people. 10 to 16. But, I mean, other than that, it really doesn't serve a purpose. It's slow in this game, and it can be seen from a mile away. It can be taken out pretty easily, due to its lack of armor. I'm gonna give this thing a 5. I mean, it's cool. It's like, it's got that old aesthetic, but it's whatever. Number 2. Coast Guard. You know, standard boat. Pretty alright. Looks like what you would expect from a coast military Coast Guard boat. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure it gets the job done. I'm not really much of a boat kind of guy, but it, it looks cool. I like it. I'll give it a 7. The Enforcer. This bad boy instantly gives you 100 armor when you step in it. It moves like a little lug, but it gets the job done once you actually reach top speed. It's heavy. It's got hella armor. It's got the baddest, coolest motherfuckers jumping out of it. What's not to love about this thing? It's got a nice color scheme. Hell, even the gas tank on this one, compared to the barracks, is armored. It's... Oh my fucking god, these cops are pissing me off. I'm gonna give the Enforcer a 10 out of 10. I like it. FBI Washington. So, I rated the civilian version a 7 out of 10. This one gets a 9, because it can be resprayed. It is incredibly fast. You can do vigilante in it. It just looks nice. I mean, what's not to like about this car? It's, it's very classy. It's the better version of the vehicle I'm going to rank next. But this one definitely deserves a 9, and the one in Vice City Stories deserves a 10 simply because it actually changes color once you respray it. This one stays black. Ah, oh, the FBI Rancher. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. This thing is a motherfucker and it is driven by motherfuckers. I prefer more to run away from the vehicle than I do to actually get in and drive it. It feels slow, but it's not. It's just, I don't know, it's a flippotron. The only upside to it is that it has an extra two doors, and I mean that's about it. it it's cool though, I guess. I'm gonna give it a six. I'm not very fond of it. I'm more fond of destroying it, to be honest. All right, let's move on to number six. The helicopter. So this isn't really a vehicle you can drive, but it is something that you encounter. And it is increasingly difficult as the star rating goes up. Oh wow, as you can see, it's following me around even though I'm not wanted. Anyways, that bad boy deploys SWAT guys, and I love it simply because not only the quotes of the SWAT guys, but the quotes of the pilots. Incredibly hilarious, and it's a fun... I guess boss of some sort. I mean, it can be taken out in one shot if you're really good. 
but it's a fun interactable enemy vehicle whatever you want to call it but it's incredible i like it the helicopter was a great addition to the gta series <clears throat> realistic it fits the bill i don't know what's not to love about the helicopter it's increasingly difficult it can even attempt to assassinate you and i will make a video on that but i'm going to give the helicopter a 10 10 out of 10 moving on to number seven the hunter you know pretty cool i mean it shoots rockets and explosive bullets it can run into buildings and not get destroyed uh, it's pretty cool. It has a nice color. It you require about hundred packages. Yeah, you need a hundred packages to grab this thing, or I believe you can steal one from the military base. I don't go for this, even if I have it unlocked. I prefer riding on the ground. But you know, it's cool. I'm pretty sure it gets the job done, and this is someone's favorite out there. Uh, for that, I'm gonna give it an eight. You know, it, it's a force to be reckoned with. Although I'm pretty sure if this game was multiplayer, these things wouldn't be too hard to destroy. I mean, in the story mode, you destroy like two of them. It's not that hard. But yeah, it deserves that 8. Number 8. The Patriot. Now, this isn't seen in-game used by law enforcement, but it's implied that law enforcement uses it and it's not really seen by standard traffic so in my eyes it's used by military it's just not really implemented but this bad boy is based off of a humvee and it's pretty sick it's got a nice camo i mean color whatever you want to call it it isn't too crazy but it's Dude, it's pretty chill you know i just love to fucking arrive this thing and watch madagascar those animals are so fucking funny Anyways, you know what, I give the Patriot a solid 9. I like these, these are the only kinds of Jeeps that I would like. They're ultra wide, they're heavy, you know, if, if cocaine was a car, it would be this. Pretty alright. Number 9. The standard boxy police vehicle. What's not to love about this? You know, you love the assholes that drive them. Shit, you love seeing them flip them because they can't drive them for shit. Hell, this thing is just the staple when it comes to doing vigilante missions. Other than the Vice City Cheetah. What is it, the, the Vice, Vice Unit? I don't, I don't know what it's called. But this thing is a badass piece of fucking work. It has a great top speed. Has a nice color scheme. The siren is bloody annoying and it's fucking incredible. I mean, you can't go wrong with using this. If you really need to hop in it for vigilante, go for it. Early game, it works. Although I prefer an early game just working a little hard and getting the cheetah. But this 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 does the job. This really does. I'm gonna give it a ten. It's a solid, solid vehicle. I love it. Moving on to the police maverick. So as the helicopter, this one's the version that you can drive. It doesn't have a gun. It's basic transportation. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not really a fan of helicopters. I'm really not. They're cool, sure, but whatever. You know, the helicopter that I'm fond of is the one that you fight and it's interactive with. She shut up. Anyways, I'm I'm gonna give it a six because you know it does what it needs to do and it has an okay camo to it. It's like this vehicle over here, but as a helicopter. The Predator, a funny named boat which you can encounter on two stars and they're actually the deadliest force to be reckoned with on two stars because on two stars you're typically being cracked at by these but 
on two stars, if you're near the water, you're getting cracked at by these. The first automatic to appear in the game, technically, to be used against you. Automatics are typically used against you at three stars or more, either from a helicopter or from vice units. This thing is a force to be reckoned with if you're in the water and you have nothing else but a boat. As they can blow you up and you're fucked. Although if you get lucky, you could you could typically stand on the boat, but it's going to be sinking. So you better be lucky and pray that a boat is passing by that you can hop on. These motherfuckers will make a nightmare out of you if you're in the water early game. Now, if you hop in a helicopter, you can outright avoid these guys. Or if you just stay on land, you'll never see these guys. But it's a pretty cool vehicle. And the guys that drive it are, I guess, pretty cool, I guess. I mean, if they're not blowing you the fuck up. But it's alright, I guess. It's whatever, you know? I'm gonna give it a 7. I don't go out of my way to drive boats, but it's, it's alright. The Rhino. This bad boy, better than the San Andreas version, by the way, has a better camo, has a better look. Hell, if you put a cheat and then drive in reverse and shoot, you can just fly to god knows where. This thing is, is just a fucking force to be reckoned with. It'll one-shot you if you're in front of it. The guys that hop out it are pretty fun to fight. It, I love this thing. It's an 11. It's a staple. It, the Rhino is genuinely one of the only vehicles that causes fear. Because it can just one-tap you in a car or on foot. There's almost no beating it. You can destroy it pretty easily if you know what you're doing, but most people don't. So this thing gets an 11. Secure car. Now, I don't know if it's a myth or not when you step in this thing to get a set of armor. It, in my case, I believe it might be just an incredibly low chance but it's still possible. I'm going to chalk this up as a probable thing. I, I should run tests. But this thing is cool. It's slow. You can roleplay as like a, you know, a guy that's just moving money. It's got a cool sound. Cool look. I don't know. Something, something kind of like appealing about it. Than the fact that this is group fucking sex on the side. But yeah, this thing's cool. I'm going to give it an 8. The Vice City Cheetah. So this bad boy is my biggest money maker ever. Other than the um, Cone Crazy Stallion or the fire truck. It, this thing, I, I, like as a legitimate method early game, I've started. I've started the game before even the first mission with about a good 115 to 200 million simply because of this vehicle. I've been able to get up to some crazy numbers just doing vigilante in this bad boy. It can be resprayed many different sexy colors, has many different variations because it comes from anywhere between zero to four mirrors, which is incredible. And you know what's not to love? The guys that chase you in this thing are loaded. I believe they are the only law enforcement other than security guards to drop loads of cash except these guys drop way more cash and they drop way more powerful weapons and the most powerful weapon they drop of all is this vehicle itself as I mentioned I've utilized it early game to make well more than you need in the start of the game I'm gonna give this bad boy an 11 it, it really deserves it and last but not least or probably is at least the Vice City News Maverick. Well, while I did say that this was an offensive list, not defensive, to me this is offensive. When you're being stalked by the news and they are assisting police, they're essentially committing to your murder or they're essentially contributing. But it's it's a cool vehicle. You know, the concept behind it, the actual in-game lore of it, it's, it's alright, you know, but personally, would you use this over a weaponized helicopter? Probably not. I don't think I would, but it's cool.
I'm going to give that a 7. The chase stat is a real thing. And I assume that that is what the chase stat is. It's just those guys following you around and you can't see them. Anyways, I have four more ranking videos for the vehicles of Vice City. There's been 16 in this video. The rest do get sh more or less the same length. There's two videos that are going to be shorter than 10. And two other videos that are roughly around the same length as this one. I'm going to roll my outro now. Thanks. And that's the cop ranking. And also, here's a drawing I did of Goku. Anyways, thanks for watching. It's been another shitty banger from Identity Releasing Sun.